I love what you two are doing with this house, but what are you gonna do with five bedrooms? You guys are obviously never having kids. What was that look? I did not do a look. You're doing a look right now. There's no look. Have a good fight, guys. There's so many kids in foster care, and they're having an orientation. Ellie, people who take in foster kids are really special. The kind of people who volunteer when it's not even a holiday. We don't even volunteer on a holiday. Over a half million children are currently in foster care. The county puts these on because they can match a lot of kids and parents quickly. Look at the big kids. Everybody's avoiding them. I'm going to go and say hi. But they're teenagers, OK? They use drugs, and they watch people playing video games on YouTube. They're not equipped for any of that. Hi! Just FYI, we can all hear you. Hmm? It's OK. Go mingle with the kitties and uh, don't give it another thought. Bye-bye. It's such an amazing, uplifting story. It's a, for us to be in a movie that is wildly entertaining for you know all audiences, but also having a message like this and an important subject matter, and 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 at a time where it's needed, you know they don't come around that often. And so uh, you know having worked with Sean a couple of times and hearing his story when he asked me to be a part of it, I said absolutely. Lizzie comes with two younger siblings. Three kids? Too much. Oh, oh my God. God. They're adorable. Why would you show us that? That's wrong. Here we are. Make yourself at home, because you are at home. Do you like the Clippers? Oh, I'm more of a Lakers fan. Oh, no! You hit me because I like the Clippers. I think the Clippers are awesome. They were smart for trading Blake Griffin. Their best player. <laughs> Ow, watch it! Ow! Just stay there until the fire department comes, OK? You're just another white lady who wants to adopt charity orphans to make you feel good about yourself. Pretend, Mom. We might have a little bit of a knack for this. Oh. I beg to differ. I mean, look, you can understand. I mean, for us, it was like, oh, God, we don't want to offend anybody. So I know we had always talked about, is this too much? Is this pushing the envelope a little too far? When talking about wanting to give the children back and trying to get, you know, sympathy for losing the kids as much as we have for taking the kids in. But yeah, it can be it can be really hard. And, you know, it's honest in that way that there are, you know, there are a lot of great times, there are a lot of difficult times, but ultimately it's so rewarding. Mm. Um, and, you know, that's what it's all about. It's all about faith for me and family, so. This stuff takes time. Lizzie yeah. had to parent Juan to all by herself. This is never going to be easy, but with some structure and love, you could make your house a home. Please just go away. But I'm pissed. You know what I like to do? Really? All right, let me fix it, okay? Thanks, Daddy. I just got my first daddy. Oh, what? You suck. I want some of that. Hey, honey, can I help you with anything? No. Hey, I think um, knowing that there are a lot of kids out there who are in desperate need of a home. Uh, hopefully that will, will pique people's interest and make them kind of, you know, look under the hood a little bit more and, and hopefully um, look into, you know, maybe bringing foster children into the home and eventually adopting. But, you know, it's, it's interesting to see something that's a serious subject that's also wildly entertaining. It is not going to be easy, folks. These kids will test your will, put a strain on your relationship, and push buttons you didn't even know you had. Now, I can tell by looking at you that not all y'all are going to make it. I actually think this group has got the grit to face some unpleasant. Uh, so you, you guys heading out? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Bye bye. All right, that one's on me. It absolutely is, and you know what? We've gone over this before. We have.